Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 3. So we are in the fifth episode and we have Meghna Sinha here with us who has been recently placed at Shell as a part of her campus placements at VIT. So she is here to share her interview experience with us. And before we uh, talk to her, let's look at the eligibility criteria. So all students belonging to CSC and IT branches were eligible provided they had a CGPA of 7 or 70% in 10th and 12th as well as in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Meghna and understand her experience. And congratulations on your placement. Yeah, thank you so much and thank you for having me here. Yeah, so would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. So hey everyone, I'm Meghna Sinha. I'm currently a fourth year student at PID Chennai, studying computer science engineering with my specialization in artificial intelligence and machine learning. Okay. I'm originally from Bihar, Patna, but I've lived most of my life in Mumbai, Maharashtra, where I did my schooling. Okay. And my hobbies include reading, and I really enjoy theater. Okay. And as for my technical skills, I'm a machine learning enthusiast. Yeah, and I also did my internship at Sopra Stereo okay. as a machine learning intern. Okay. So that's basically about me. Okay, that's really great. Thank you for that. Um, you cannot tell us about the hiring process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Yeah, so Shell really didn't have a much of an intensive process. So okay. overall, there were only two rounds. Okay. So for the first round, uh, I think the eligibility criteria was uh, all students should have like seven CGP and above. Okay. And no current backlogs, uh, okay. the basic. Hmm. Uh, but around 350 students were shortlisted for the online assessment, which okay. was uh, taken. Okay. So the assessment was basically we had four sections and we had been given a time of around two, two hours to two, uh, two hours, 15 minutes roughly. Okay. So it consisted of coding, hmm. uh, a SQL query, okay. technical MCQs and aptitude. Okay. Uh, so the coding was basically generally I would say it's easy. Hmm. It was not very data structures oriented. It hmm. was mostly about problem solving. So basically using arrays and strings. Okay. So some people also got questions related to dynamic programming. So okay. that is something you should take into account. Okay. Uh, but they were generally easy. I was able to solve. We were given a time limit of like one hour for hmm. the coding. Hmm. But I was able to solve the questions in easily like 25 to 30 minutes. Hmm. I think okay. it was well worth, you know, cracking the logic. They were generally easy. Okay. As for the SQL query, again, uh, nothing too, you know, complex. The query was really simple. So anyone who has basically revised their DBMS or just revised SQL, they would be able to do it. Right, okay. Uh, again, one thing about Shell is that the company is like really uh, focused on, what do we say, DBMS and SQL queries. Okay. So even for the technical MCQs, we had like 25 questions. Half of them were about SQL or DBMS related questions. Hmm. And the rest of them were related to OOPS concepts and C++. Okay. Okay. And the aptitude was also, I would say, generally easy. There was not a lot of mathematics, but mm. it was mainly about blood relations and mm. um, positions or something related to algebraical patterns and whatever. Okay. okay. So that was the online assessment round. And uh, from 350 people, so initially we got a short list with, which had almost all of the names, but mm. they basically asked us for a preference. Mm. So Shell is also offering us four roles, which were uh, associate IT engineer, which okay. was the role I applied for. And I would say is generally preferred for SD students. Hmm. Then there was a business anal analyst role, hmm. a transformation analyst, which is, I think, something related to management or HR, hmm. and one uh, in the cybersecurity domain. Okay. So after we gave our preferences, the next day we got uh, the list for the interviews, which hmm. had, I think, around roughly 100 to 115 students were shortlisted for the interview. Okay. And so there was only uh, one round two hmm. for the interviews and that was basically it. So it was a combination of technical plus HR. Okay. And I would say generally, at least my panel and what I've heard from people, that there were two people. Okay. Not necessarily one from technical and one from HR, hmm. but uh, they could be from any domains, mostly. Like for me, my panelists were both uh, senior business analysts. Okay, okay. Who took my interview. Hmm. And another thing which I noticed is, which differed, I would say, from my seniors or what I saw just online, hmm. was there was no divided sections. Like first we take your technical interview and then we'll move with the HR. Okay. They were kind of like, uh, it was like a very open-ended interviews so hmm. after they tell you to explain your projects and all they would uh, bounce up questions. Okay. So like maybe they'd ask me a technical questions and then it would go to HR and hmm. vice versa. Hmm. 
hmm. based on that question okay. so the interview process was very resume oriented okay so i didn't get a lot of problem solving or dsa questions hmm. they obviously they did ask me some basic thing hmm. but i think that's mostly also dependent on how you introduce yourself and right. what technical skills you have your hmm. on your resume hmm. so i would say like uh, a key point for this interview would be that making sure that your uh, resume okay. is very like center like you should only put whatever you know because hmm. they were like very uh, picky about it okay so okay. they asked me questions basically so my resume was very uh, ml oriented hmm. so they asked me basically questions on what tech stacks i worked hmm. uh, what technologies i had implemented hmm. what experience i had and okay. even my internship was in the ml domain so they basically uh, with respect to my internship uh, it was more hr related questions like okay. uh, you know how have well have you worked in a team and hmm. the basic hr questions nothing too intense okay okay so the that round basically lasted for one hour and the next day we basically got results in which out of the 100 or 115 people who gave the interview i would say around 35 to 45 people got selected for okay. sure okay. and that was it okay that's really great and thank you for sharing and congratulations again um do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into super dreams or anything that you want to share that you learned from your placement journey yeah so again i only have like basic key pointers because again this was actually my first interview so i wouldn't say i have a lot of experience with okay. interview okay but what i basically noticed with all of this going around is the basic key points is like start dsa you know start your dsa prep early because mm. i was maybe i would say fortunate enough that i didn't really get a lot of uh, data right dsa structured questions right or dsa based questions but mm. again it's something that you cannot let go of mm. you need to have like a mastery over those concepts and it's best you start it early right because i still you know even with me giving the online assessments and all i still mm. struggled with you know maybe graph questions or binary right. tree questions mm. it's, it's something you need to constantly practice okay so mm. i basically followed a uh, love bubbles playlist okay it's in hindi on mm. dsa i okay. felt that was really helpful especially for revisions okay if you already know concepts or even if you want to learn concepts mm. uh, but it's in hindi mm. and if people want uh, are not comfortable with hindi uh, they can follow neat code okay so there's a website with which has like neat codes 150 and like the blind 75 list which i felt was like really good for you know problem solving and all okay and as such i would just say you know keep constantly practicing and just like don't uh, you know become stagnant right. you need to constantly keep revising and don't be motivated you need to like even if you're getting discouraged that you're not able to perform well in contests or you're not able to solve questions you just have to constantly keep at it and be motivated because again a company will come for you mm. you'll have that chance you'll have right. that chance to sit in the interview and give it your best shot okay so i think that would be my advice Okay. Um thank you so much for sharing your experience and for your suggestions. It was really great. I'm sure many people will be uh I mean this will be helpful to many people. So thank you again for doing this. Yeah, thank you so much for you know uh, inviting me and like you know letting me share my experiences and I hope a lot of people make use of this knowledge. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you got to learn something from this video or you got some new information from this video. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and stay tuned because a lot of interview experiences are coming your way in the next few days. So stay tuned and thank you guys for watching.